this to us your name? Richard. Okay, so hi Richard. And you wrote to me on Facebook and said that I changed your life. Uh, you met me in 2006. Yeah. And, you know, um, I get a lot of criticism that right. what I do is, what's the point of it and does it make any difference, etc. Um, so I just wanted to find out, you know, if you could just tell us a bit about what happened. So, yeah, it was like a little over 10 and a half years ago. Uh, I saw you on Speaker's Corner um, and immediately got enthralled. Um, you were much different than the rest of the speakers um, where they were ranting more about uh, religion and politics. You were kind of more of a free spirit in a way. Um, had more of a spiritual message and just resonated and uh, one of the memorable hooks was uh, when you asked us to turn and look at the person next to us and just look into the windows to the soul and 15 seconds was like an eternity at fr you know first it was like this is interesting and then it was like you just go deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole or you know, stronger connection with the person you're looking at and um, and 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 your message was uh, at the time quite in line with I think some of the readings you were currently um, reading and recommending. Um, David Neil Walsh, is that, say that right? Donald Walsh. Neil Donald Walsh's Conversations with God, uh, Eckhart Tolle's A New Earth. Uh, and once I read those books, I, uh, it all even, you know, the message from Speaker's Corner was even more uh, stronger and emphasized. And uh, um, it just stuck with me. It, it kind of opened the door um, for me to think, you know, outside the box, um, to, uh, you know, to realize there's a bigger picture out there than can be contained in one religion or, um, you know, of all the many out there. It's just, you can't say that um, there's one true one. It, it, you know, yeah, I, I saw the bigger picture a little bit after that. And um, uh, ever since then, I've been sort of, um, I guess, just more spiritual. I think I always was an open-minded person, but um, I, you made me realize sort of that I wasn't so alone in, in that train of thought and um, and then I, I thought I continued to uh, keep in touch and follow you on the internet and uh, <laughs> I'll give you a little criticism I guess uh, I uh, at some point your message deviated a little from the, that spiritual stuff and got a little more into the authority stuff which was also a good message to you know it had an underlying uh, message of you know what you know to getting you to question every uh you know your the norms of society and everything um uh but uh yeah at some point it kind of became like is he just doing this for fun is he it maybe came a little stale like um beating a dead horse maybe a little sorry i don't mean to be harsh but no no i i, I welcome this I welcome okay this. uh but uh and i'll admit i've been a little out of the loop for the past maybe like five years I might have fallen off from, uh, from bad, watching things but you know, but, you know uh, what you, you've taken what you've taken out of it and you yeah. don't need to watch them anymore it's true yeah you take it uh, go your go your way with it and because um, that's what it's all about is you know connecting with yourself um, not necessarily like you know worshipping a false idol or something uh, to be, um, not to exaggerate, but, um, so yeah, I did that, and, um, You're I, not exaggerating, if people, you know, people relate to other people literally like false idols, they do. Right, yeah. So, you know, and I didn't like that, I don't, I don't like that. Right. It feels very uncomfortable for me, because yeah. I know what I'm really like. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah, um. <clears throat> Which is human, you know? Yeah, yeah. I rendezvoused with you today because um, I was in the area and 
just wanted to let you know that um, you know you had a profound impact on my life when I was uh, just just 22. Now I'm 10 years later, and uh, um, you know never forgot, and uh, you know rolled it into my life.